take them quite deep into this innings. It has been not the ideal start with the bat. Lizelle Lee went relatively early. We know how dangerous she is. And uh, Fanny Cook, she also got 15. And uh, well, it has been an up and down start. They'll be need to up those uh, strike rates in particular because it is T20 cricket. It's been a little bit of a disease right throughout the series. A lot of batsmen getting starts and not kicking on. So a real partnership needed by these two. Dot ball, dot ball. Absolutely massive, these dot balls. And they're going to continue piling on the pressure on the South Africans. And now we see that run rate. It needs to go up just a little bit more. It's also so important to keep being brave here as a batsman. You can't get into your shell too much. Yes, their spin bowlers, their slow bowlers are extremely accurate. They know how to pile on pressure. But you've got to back your own skills. You've got to back your own game plan here and you've got to keep playing. Don't go into your shells too much. It's also about shot selection. We almost saw there to clack or rather Sinebus trying to hit the ball maybe a little bit too hard and can just nudge it into the spaces and look for those singles and those twos. Very good point that it's important for her to stick to what she does best. She's a good placer of the ball, she knows where the gaps are, not necessarily a big hitter, but, but she always shows good batsmanship. So stick to what you know best. Just, I know it's an old cliche in the game, but so important for them to get a cameo partnership here. Well bowled from Yadav, really well bowling. And uh, well, it continues to pile on the pressure here. Interesting that uh, with regards to partnerships. Interesting with regards to what? uses a feet this time straight to the fielder. Takes us to the end of the tenth over. South African women are sixty-two for four. Oh, there it is. The South African inning so far. Just that one big over where they got ten runs. They're gonna need a few more of those. And this final 10 overs. You'd be pretty satisfied. There's been enough big overs, but of course the fall of the wickets, then over four and over seven, eight and nine. That has really caused them just to slow things down. Just once, just once. Interesting point you made a little bit early on with regards to partnerships. It's also important that they, 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 they're able to really... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's run away from me now. Chance, chance! Ah, but it doesn't carry to the play in the deep. I'm speaking about complementing each other. That's the word I was looking for, Kluger. With regards to if Sine Lewis is going to knock it around, she almost needs a play on the other end to be able to kick on, or else it just piles on the pressure. Yes, you need an aggressor. You need someone who's going to say, I'm going to take the ropes on, and I'm going to play with a bit of flair. Sweep. The sweep comes into play again. Seems to be the go-to sh go shot. As soon as a spinner bowls, batsman us. No matter where it's almost pitching, it's like, well, my go-to shot here. I can't get it away. I'm gonna go for that sweep. Well, we've already seen a, a one wicket and a couple of chances being created by the Indian bowlers with the batting and the sweep. Of course, a very tough shot to play when the ball is spinning away from you. Not a, not a percentage shot. There it is again. Just again, gets the one. Again. When we started our commentary stint in the ninth over, well done, well done, that run rate was just above 6.5. It's dropping steadily, and you feel that you can almost feel the anxiety of the two players out there. If you something's got to give you, there's either got to be a chance, a boundary, but you can feel the tension building. Down the wicket! Down the wicket! It's a chance! But it's safe. Well, you speak about something's got to give Krugat now. Well, something almost gave there. See her advance down the wicket here. Tries to go across the spin once again, straight up. Lucky for the ball just to land in between the fielders, but living a charmed life here, these two players. And that's the end of the 11th over. South Africa, 66 for four at the moment. Perhaps uh, not uh, the most ideal start. Six, still six wickets in hand. 
but it has been the batting performance and the bowling performance of the Indian team that has been really, really outstanding. They've managed to get the squeeze on. Interesting to see they bowled Bastraka her lot at four overs, which means that the captain would have to use a six bowler. So the South Africans are smart here. They would just hang in there for that six bowler to come on and really ensure that they make uh, the most of that opportunity. I think it might be a spinner. Most definitely be a spinner. Patil continues just five or four solitary over so far. And uh, the Indian spinners have been really tough to get away. I mean, I speak about the fact that uh, it's likely a spinner. It's because it's been so productive for the Indian team. They're a well-drilled side. They know their strengths. They know how to adjust to, to conditions. This time, a lofted drive by Sunay Lees. Beautifully timed, despite a valiant effort by the fielder at long off. Much needed boundary, Kruger. And uh, just what the doctor ordered for South Africa. That run rate goes back above a six. And a really much needed boundary there. Clean strike by Sunay Lees. A much better option for her to hit that side screen instead of going over that leg side boundary. Very good shot. Good cricket's going to push for two. Can they get it? No, just one. And uh, we spoke about good cricket a little bit Dada. earlier on and, 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 and the batsman going across the line. Nice straight bat there. We saw how effective that, that, that is, uh, in, especially in one-day cricket. Yeah, and we've seen how well she's timed the ball every time she's looked to hit slightly straighter. Big hit, big hit. Just short. Well, we can see Sune Lewis is now trying to force the pace a little bit more. Take on the Indian fielders and the bowlers. Yeah, once again, she looks for that across the line option. Not timing it. Luckily for her, it doesn't carry all the way to the deep mid-wicket boundary. I'm watching Sune Lewis bat and uh, I'm looking at the options she has. Three players on the leg side. Maybe that big hit on the leg side isn't quite the shot. That's good cricket. Let's see some good running here. Will they push the fielder? Lees wants it but gets sent back by the clerk. Probably a wise decision this time after already seeing a run out of Mignon de Priya. So they can't afford to lose another big wicket. And, uh, well, they try to push the two there. But uh, Sonelis opted to keep Diklat back. Again, there's Slog Sweep coming into play. And uh, there's three fielders on the leg side waiting patiently. And that's where the accuracy of the bowling comes in, to make sure you're bowling to your field all the time. boundary in the over and uh, they won't mind that and that brings us to the end of the 12th over and the change in commentary we've got uh, Johan van der Vaart as well as Pierre de Brain who are going to take you through to the 16th over It is a beautiful day in East London. Perfect day for golf, uh, Johan, next to me. Yeah, some of us got to work. You can obviously see the golf course from our vantage point. But also a perfect day for cricket. East London showing off a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit humid, but a lovely day. Lots of flight, nicely worked on the leg side they're looking they're calling quickly good running i think that's a really good option there isn't a lot of pace she's using her feet she knew exactly the way she, she waited it there's always to nicely played they're looking again they, this time they're deciding against it and uh, you're talking about the options as a batsman with a bowler like Patil 
you know, lots of air there, so a good option to use your feet just like that. But it's so tough to sweep. Yeah, on this wicket we've seen, because it's so slow. This time, straight hits the uh, batsman on the other end, just a single. Yeah, for me, there's two options. Use your feet, and then because it's so slow, you can always hang back, punch it off the back foot if you're looking for the gaps. Sweep against no pace, really difficult to get your timing right. That's the googly. She's asking the question, I think, she's just getting a bit excited because it came out so beautifully. So, uh, in the first over, Mesh is a real good control. She bowls the leggy and she bowls the googly. I think we said the previous game she's got it on a string. That's short and wide. Yeah, it's so nice to see, you know, the art of leg spin. For someone to bowl that googly, it comes out beautifully. Fantastic skill. South Africa after 13 overs, 80 for 4, run rate 6.15, so they still have runs on the board and still 7 overs to go, but they're the couple of big buildings there, 4th over, went for 10, and they really want to build on that now. The problem for South Africa is their main striker is Marizan Cup, it's Nalise Lizal Ali, she's gone. At least she's still there, but she's not really a striker. So India, India will be looking to keep it on the wraps, giving them their ones and twos, but we're looking for boundary hitters. But we haven't got too many boundary hitting options. Come on, Dada. Go for dogs, come on. Swept, and this will be a boundary. Welcome boundary for South Africa and Sinailis. And we spoke about the sweep, but Yadav, she gives a little bit more pace in the air. She doesn't give as much flight as the Lexman bowler. You can see there's more pace. So straight away, the sweep a little bit easier and so well executed. It's a really big gap. And we'll see a change of field because of that. Square legs going back. She was in the 30 yard circle and cover is coming up. But for me against Yadav, it's a much better option. There's a lot, lot more pace. The leg spin gives you nothing. Okay, he uses a feet. This is in the gap again. Fantastic shot. The difference this time, it's on the offside. Shot of the day for me. Lise. She swept the previous one. This time, she gives herself a bit of room down the wicket and finds the gap. Gets in a really good position, head over the ball, finds the gap, and this outfield, as we've seen, is quite quick. Really good. That's a good over for South Africa so far. Nine runs off it, three balls to go. Sweeping again. It's going to, oh, nearly a mishap in the middle. Now, when you bowl as a left arm spinner, is a uh, Chloe Tran. Now, yes, that is Tuesday. She played a magnificent cameo right at the back end of South Africa's innings. And I tell you, I saw some big hitting. She cleared the boundary easily. I think this is a good time for her to be better. She's not in to be next, but this is a time for her, for your strikers. To come in over 13, 14, 15. These two are setting a real good platform. Good over this for South Africa. 11 runs coming from it, but they're setting the platform for the strikers to come in. There she is, Chloe Tran. And uh, that innings took South Africa to 164, and at one stage it looked like they're only going to get to 148. And I think that last over went for 20 runs good cricket shots big hitting power and uh, south africa will need her to have enough time to play the the same type of knock to get them to a total which is going to be difficult for india to chase
New bowler, Cahoon, captain. Oh, pace again, but nicely worked. He's going to do her own fielding. Yeah, India women, they've got so many options and spin bowling options. And the captain, Cahoon, she comes on. We've seen some spells by the spinners and, and for me yeah, this wicket sort of should suit India looks like a real just a true slowish wicket no it is slow typical East London wicket swept and uh, the Indian spinners they are not giving the South African batters any pace to play with Feet. She tried to get in the gap, but it was just straight to the field. Very experienced, 70 matches. Also going for under six runs per over. And they'll be happy with this. India will be very happy with this. Just the singles. Captain, if you can go under six runs and over in this format, you are winning every time. And again, even this over, only four singles, two deliveries to come. This is again, it was short, but straight to the field, a missed opportunity. You can see the frustration on the clerk's face and body language. She just taps herself on the head saying, come on, I've got to do better with those type of deliveries. And uh, before they know, end of the 15th over, and only the six singles of that over. Just get the feeling, this is the time. Five overs to go where they've got to try and accelerate. No, I was thinking exactly that. 97 for four. And we're looking, they should be looking to get closer to that 137 140 mark to give themselves something to bowl at so five overs to go you don't think you'll get bowled out from here so it's time for me for South African ladies to put a little bit of pressure on maybe here and there some experimental a couple of shots maybe the reverse sweep try and find the boundaries run hard between the wickets see if you can get maybe between eight and nine runs in the next five overs Una Jadav, she's in her last over. And I, I, I think a, a good strategy for South Africa now is both these batters can be really positive. And if you lose a wicket, then that in batter has got to stay in. But they need Chloe Tryon to come in now to have enough time to get herself in on a slowish wicket. Yeah, South Africa, no, from you, not going to get any pace whatsoever. Can see at least anxious, but there's no pace. They've got to make all the pace, and that's what India has done really well. And they, they work out the conditions so quickly. Yeah, okay, and it's only that single. It's another single, and uh, they're looking for boundaries. South Africa uses a feet, no timing, inside edge. 12 balls, so it's two overs ago. The last the boundary will look at least a boundary per over. And that's the 100 up for South Africa. what India has done so well they've kept South Africa from scoring boundaries it's now more than an over two overs as you said ago that's what they 
He's done so well. Yadav giving no pace. The sweep is in that boundary option. It's so difficult to sweep against the slowness. That is an option. This Lee. one goes straight. There's a chance taken. Lise. She's gone. Looking to put the foot down. Looking to up. Looking for that boundary. That boundary that we were looking for. Only manages to hit it straight too long on. Really good knock. But that's the end of Lise. 33 of 32. He can't blame her because she had to go. Exactly what we said. Both of these ladies got to go for it. Sinaya sacrificed her wicket for the team. She went straight. Good option, but not enough timing for this time. Good catch taken. South Africa losing their fifth wicket. 101 for five. That brings Chloe Tryon to the wicket. Power hitter. And if she can play the same innings here than Tuesday, uh, that will be great for South Africa. 36 matches. And there we go. Strike rate. First thing you notice, 141. Yep, South Africa is going to need it in this last four overs. 4.1 overs. South Africa is going to need it. And she's to produce similar batting styles to Tuesday. They're looking, is there a misunderstanding? They went the wrong way, the wrong side. It's a missed opportunity for India. Yeah, coming down the wicket. Not sure, never a single, but the throw has gone to the, to the wrong end. Another batsman. And, Nowhere to be seen, but also no communication. So Chloe survives. That's also the end of the over. Well, for the last four overs, we're going to make way for Dumisa Makalima and Kruger van Vijk. Four of us to go. Let's see how much they can maximize here. South Africa lost a very crucial batsman who was, was in, who was in control at the time. But now they have to find a way to get a solid score so that their bowlers can have something that they can defend. A lot of trafficking, a lot of uh, field placings, changes in the field. Good shot by Sunai Lise. She's really trying to up the ante a little bit here. They realize that they're going to need a very important 23 balls left in this innings to get them up to a competitive score. That's okay. But I'll tell you what, that stroke was flawless as Sunai Lise, but this is the clack. She's on 24 of 25 balls. She's a person who's in at the moment, who needs to be there at the end so that this South African innings can get stability and so that they can have a strong finish. The mid-off goes back to the boundary. Try on. Sweet strike off the bat, first ball. I'll tell you what. Tuesday, Chloe came in and blasted 30 of squat balls. She was absolutely brilliant, scoring 30 odds of like two overs to give South Africa a very good platform. Hope she can do it again. This time, Pandi just runs her fingers across the ball. Slightly slow delivery. Yes, to me, the scene is set for her. It's a perfect opportunity to come in here just to express yourself. Trust your game. Get your team up to that 140 target, which still feels below par, but at least it's something to bowl at. Tell you what, last week after three balls, she was on 18. She was absolutely motoring. She came in and gave and gave the South African innings the right sort of momentum they needed. And they finished off very well. And South Africa will be hoping that uh, she repeats the same feat 
but the Indians are clever this time around. You can see there's a lot of change in pace, rolling the fingers across the ball. Just Another like slow ball. This one deceives the keeper with a bit of spin. And it's racing away to the boundary. Harsh reward for a very well executed slower ball. This ball goes for four buys. Oh, very unfortunate. The keeper. Something they don't like to see. Well executed slow ball, but just the bounce of the ball just eludes the keeper. Very difficult to contain. Unfortunate for India, but it's welcome runs for South Africa. The clack. She beats a fielder at point. Be pushing hard. Turns blind. She's going to have to make yards these last couple of meters, but gets home safely. South Africa, 110 for five. The completion of the 17th over. Strong finish needed here. By Chloe. Who's on one after three balls and uh, the clerk is going to be the most important person here for South Africa. She's the one in control. Good score here for you, Agria. To me, I think any a good score would be around 160. And you see a lot of high rises during that, those first 17 overs here. But once again, just wickets falling in, in clumps and at important stages. But 160, I would say, is a winning score here. Couldn't agree you more. I mean, uh, it's a beautiful outfield. It's a Beautiful pitch. Kind of reminds me of Centurion, where you come from. That's how beautiful this surface is. Wide cut out to deep point. Yes. It is lightning quick, hasn't it? It's a picture outfield here, and it's a beautiful day. Normally the wind blows a gale here, but it's been perfect conditions for, for a nice day's cricket. Big hit, big hit, steadies herself, and she gets a comfortable catch. Headlong on there. Very, very disappointing for De Klerk. She was the person who was in, who was supposed to carry this momentum for South Africa till the end. But after a missed stroke and good bowling from India, tossed up in the air, she couldn't get the distance and the elevation she wanted. As a matter of fact, it's a down, the long on stroke. Once again, a very composed take by the fielders on the outfield. India's catching. It's been exemplary today. So calm, so composed under the high ball. Their spinners, they will create a lot of chances when the batters take on. Nadine de Klerk, she departs for 26 from 28 deliveries. It does bring in Shamim Ismail. Very experienced in this team, obviously with the with the ball. Not much to speak of with the bat, but she'll have to do a job. They have got 16 balls to make some sort of a difference. We've come to know Shibma Ismail as a real competitor. She's a fighter, she's a heartbeat of the side, and, and she's going to be as competitive as she can here. Projected scores currently 128, which probably won't be enough. They would be looking at that 8 and over, 9 and over for the last couple of wickets. Overs. Yeah, that won't be enough for them. And this is part of the reason that she's here. She couldn't get the elevation and uh, the distance that uh, she wanted. As a matter of fact, she just scooped it towards uh, Longhorn's throat. Ismail, one can see that she's targeting that extra cover area. The 
ball just slightly angling in towards her. Also had a brief look at square leg. She's not going to die wondering. Nicely pushed off the back foot to get off the mark. Yeah, the inning started off very well for South Africa, but it uh, seems like they're just struggling to get the total that they, they ideally had in mind. 135 at 18 over. Try on pull successfully. Beautiful shot. This time Patil, she drops one short. Try on takes full advantage of this delivery. Beautiful strike. Just to end off the over with a very much needed boundary. That's a very good stroke there by Chloe. Not much pace behind the ball. And ideally should want to finish off as she did in Fortress But this is how the batting of the South Africans has done so far. Not really anyone uh, getting in and taking the innings by the scruff of the neck. Getting in and going out. Sunay lose 33 of 32. Two balls really uh, put the momentum into the South African batting lineup. It's all the eggs in one basket now. They need two big overs here and over 19 and 20. Once again, a couple of batters getting starts today, similar to what happened in Poch, on, similar to the one that happened in the first game on Tuesday. No real partnership of, of volume. Yeah, but the standout innings there was absolutely Chloe Tron getting that 30 of just seven balls, which just changed the whole innings around for the South African cricket side. Just very unfortunate that they couldn't defend it due to some very, very good batting by the Indian women. Beautiful extra cover drive, but the fielder calmly comes in, just throws it in onto the bounce to Pandi. Pandi very skillful. We saw her use a, a Yorker successfully, and that time, slow in away delivery to the left-hander, which is perfect tactics here at the end. You don't want to give them too much pace on the ball. Absolutely, and you know uh, how the pitch responds here in this line, and if you do take off the pace, Pitch will respond accordingly to grip. Very good Yorker executed by Pandi. Also, just very unfortunate to elude the backward point. It's where your keeper and your senior players become really important in the side to get the angles of those players spot on, not to give away any cheap boundaries. This is good bowling. They will be running hard. Bola, bola, Are they coming bola. back? Yes, she's tapped and she's looked back. Good throw will do. Oh, he's hit the stump, but I think she's safely in. Good cricket all round. Good piece of fielding here this time by the Indian outfielders. Perfectly executed Yorker. As they scurry through, just to make sure that Tryon is on strike. She's a dangerous player at the crease here and very good cricket awareness by Shabnam Ismail. Henry Clarkson like shot this time to deep square leg. Executed to perfection. Fantastic stroke by Chloe Tron. She maneuvered, stepped across to the offside. Almost like West Indian style. Gets underneath it and scoops it towards that deep of the square leg. That's adventurous fall. That is wonderful skill. That is great initiative, great creativity. She's shown that she's just not a power player, but she can play with good poise and skill as well. Very well executed. They'll be running hard here, Kruger. They'll be running hard. Tap and go. Good running. Good running by these two South African batsmen. Excellent over this time for the South African side. 
126 for six at the completion of the 19th over. She Shabnam Ismail. She gets her head down. She runs hard to get that extra run. Who knows? Every run counts in this format. And five voting figures for Pinnaman Yadav. 18 runs, two wickets, also the first four overs. They have bowled decently, the Indians. Yadav being the most impressive, picking up those two wickets for 18 runs in his four overs. The very, the pace, they have not been predictable and they're finish off, finishing off strongly here, the back end of the innings. Down the ground. Beautiful strike, Try on, looking to come back, deciding against it, which is probably a, a very wise move here. The ball's spinning into her, she's got the best chance of taking her on here in this last over. She'll be looking at what to score here, Chloe Tyron. She's definitely going to try and go big though. No time to be looking for singles and twos. They know exactly what she's capable of. Change in field. Short fine leg goes across. Short Four third five, man. Got two men out. Cow corner and long on. She goes bang. Does this have enough on it? Fielder under it. And once again, calmly collected. The long on boundary. Found one thing on that occasion. Doesn't quite have the distance that she needed. Chloe Tron, she'll be very much disappointed. It was there in the arc. Not too much fly, she gets underneath it. Probably and getting the top end of the bat, but doesn't quite get the distance, offering a very comfortable catch to the long on boundary. The catching today on display has been wonderful. And a great little cameo here. Chloe Tryon, she departs for 15 of 11 deliveries. Ayabonga Kaka comes in, plays a cricket in this part of South Africa. Not much to speak of with the bat, renowned for her bowling and what she can do with the skills of the ball. But she has a some sort of a job you do with four balls left. She is not on strike, obviously. Conversion Bye. rate will be the concern. This time, another fielder under it, but she clangs it and it goes for six. Very, very fortunate boundary for South Africa. A very much needed boundary for South Africa, enforcing the error there at uh, Deep Cow Corner. Ishmael gets underneath this one, also doesn't get the elevation that she wanted. The fielder steadies herself, and once you thought that she's got the control of it, she just nudges it over the boundary for a well-wanted boundary for South Africa. Slot sleep once again to Rada, the fielder. And we've just been singing their praises, how well they've been fielding, how well they've been catching all afternoon. Absolutely, they haven't put anything down up until now. They're very disappointed, it's cost them the maximum. Just to put insult to injury, Rada unfortunately dropping that catch and going for six as well. It really hurts. They're running hard. Oh, she just holds the ball instead of throwing it. Wise decision, otherwise if she missed it, would have gone for four. But they need every run they can get here, the South Africans. They've got one more ball to go. Ishmael looking around. Where can she capitalize? She's on 10 of just seven balls with one ball remaining. Where do you think she's going, Kruger? She's going deep mid-wicket, Dumi. She, that's her preferred area. I wouldn't be surprised if they bowl wide of the off stump here. And they do. It's a full toss and she gets a little tickle on it. Ball is running to deep third man. Goes for four just to finish off the over. And a free hit as well. 
momentum slightly on the South Africans as they go urge even closer to the half time. There goes the umpire, signals the free hit, well above waist high as she gets the ever slight edge and a valiant chase there but the bowler clearly won that race. Here comes the free hit. This is a bonus. This is what we live for. Decides to change the angle. Bowling straight at the pads. And I've got no doubt that uh, that cow corner is coming into play. There we go. Shapes up. <sighs> and just gets the bottom edge of the bed. They're looking to come back. Could be a simple run out. She hits. Is she in? It is turned down by the umpire as they walk off the field. And an exciting 20 overs comes to an end. Went for a big swing here, uh, looking straight up, getting the toe into the bat. And while they're running hard, she gathers, she has the stamp, but she's well past. The crease making a ground, and South Africa will finish on 1 4 2, losing, four, losing seven wickets in their 20 overs. Yes, 142. A competitive score. Probably speak about that early later on, but early wickets will be required here for the South African side. Ismail, a real cameo at the back end of the innings. As we say, she's a fighter in this side. A few congratulatory fist bumps just to congratulate her. They'll be satisfied that there's something that they can defend. Uh, Sunei Luz top scoring with 33 of 32 balls, well supported by a declared 26 of 28. But they'll be they'll be kicking themselves that they didn't get close to that 160, which is par on this ground. Beautiful surface, as we said. But it's something to bowl to. 142 for seven. India have all got to do. The standout partnership, Sunei Lee and Nadine Declag, 43 from 43 deliveries. They did well to get them back into the game after a big collapse where three wickets fell now over seven, eight, and nine. Yes, the Indians did take the pace of the ball. They bowled well. Their top bowler being a Yadav taking two wickets for 18 runs in her four overs. But it was the kind of wicket where you needed to change the pace, and they did that very well. So. India will be needing 143 runs to win in their 20 overs. So we will see you in a small break after the break.
Well, South Africa need a big performance here if they are to come back in this T20 series. India managed to keep them to 142. They've had a decent crowd come in here at Buffalo Park. And uh, they will be anticipating a good bowling performance from South Africa. So it'll be interesting to see how they go about their business here. Johan van der Vaart with me. Johan, South Africa's batting performance? Yeah, I'd say maybe a little bit disappointed. I think South Africa will feel a little bit disappointed. They, they started off really well and they just kept on losing wickets and wickets. They sort of tried to rebuild. 140 is something to bowl in. It's decent, but uh, India, they're very experienced and they played so well. They've been in form. The captain, they've been in form. So for me, India, they'll be the happy, happiest of the two sides going into a halfway. But South Africa, we know we're all fighters. South Africa is always a fighting unit. So get a couple of wickets and you'll be right back into this match. Sriti Mandana, player of the series in the ODI series. She's been impressive with the bat and she'll be looking to continue her good form. She opens the batting with the skipper, Mitali Raj, the experienced campaigner, 35 years of age. And uh, this opening partnership was very good in the first T20 International. Scores of 50 odd and 30 odd respectively. And there's another experienced player. I want you to come in here, Yuan, because you know a lot about Marizan Cup and a lot about fast bowling. So she's going to be key to a good start for South Africa. Yeah, South Africa, welcome her back. She played the previous game, but she's, she's missed out on injury in a couple of the one-day games, the 50 over matches. So they welcome her back. She has got pace. She does swing the ball. We're not exactly sure where she's at with her injury, but for me, she's crucial. Picking up wickets at front. She's got a really strong action, and she does swing. And I have sw seen a little bit of swing earlier this morning. So let's see. Hopefully, she's 100% fit. Looking for those earlier wickets for South Africa. Marizan Cup to get things started for South Africa. Starts down the leg side, not the start she would have wanted, but uh, we were hoping that her back, it looks like her back that was giving her problems in the in the previous games. I think she's got a little bit of a back issue, I also saw her in warm up putting on a bracer, so she might be a little bit stiff in the back, and always problems for fast bowlers. Wide ball. Down the leg side again, she's got a very strong action. Almost reminds me of Rusty Tehran. Very short, sharp, and straight to the point. Yeah, Rusty Tehran from this area. Funny enough, but yeah, she's, she's got a strong action. She's got a short run up. She, she's got a good wrist normally, but for me, she's got back problems. The first two deliveries down leg, she cannot get through her action quite as she would like. So it's crucial for her to get through the action. Much better there. Those back injuries, I don't know if you had any back injuries during your time, Johan. Quite tricky for a fast bowler because of the explosiveness at the wicket that you need to have. Now the main thing, I've, I've had a back injury when I was a little bit younger, but the main thing is is coming back from a back injury and then the confidence to slam your foot into the crease, get through your action, get over your front legs. You always, in the back of your mind, think there's something there. This time, outside edge, but only... Manages to get it down to third man. And for me, the confidence in most injuries, especially ankles, backs, just that confidence, even if there's no pain, it's always in the back of your mind. When you put your foot down, when you slam your foot down at the crease, will it hurt? Will it pinch in the back? So sometimes it takes maybe a little bit of time to, to get back into the confidence that you always had. And with those back injuries, I'm sure it looks like a nasty one. And in terms of coming back, you also do you have to also make sure that you need to be 100% and, and not take a chance with the injury of that nature? Yeah, always difficult. I'm always a believer. If you're a bowler, I wanted you 100% in the side. I'll rather have 100% of a lesser bowler than 70% of the better bowler. So I want people fit. Work down to the boundary. Steady start here from India. They haven't flown up the blocks. And Marizan Cup still feeling her way back into action and uh, South Africa will need a good start here 142 they scored will it be enough yeah, we doubt it we, we feel chasing it might not be it's a good outfield it's a quick outfield it's a decent wicket England uh, India excuse me should be used to this condition so but as we said wickets up front we could continue as wickets can, uh, can put India under pressure. I don't, I, don't th if we, I don't think if you don't take any wickets, I think South Africa will be under pressure. So key for me 
certainly wickets up front and then in the middle period put the Indians under pressure and keep on picking up wickets well you spoke about wickets in hand India have made a steady start here not looking to take too many risks early on especially against the gun bowler Marizan Cup well a very straight line at the moment not too bad though I think she's up to pace. Uh, we've obviously spoken about her back injury, uh, but we have seen her ball quick. She bowls bumpers and she bowls short deliveries. She swings the ball. Obviously not a wicket where uh, you're going to bowl too many bumpers, but uh, I don't think she's 100%. Maybe just feeling her way into it. Shot for one. Well, steady start from Marizan Cup. She won't be too disappointed with that. But she'll be looking to pull it back slightly in terms of the runs in the over. But uh, six off the first over. And uh, India, six without loss. Oh, the top of the batting order for India, very key. Raj and Mandana, they'll be looking to get their side off to a really good start. And Akura and, uh, well, Vida coming in at number four those will be key batters especially Vida who's able to take the game to the next level with her power hitting and another really good bowler coming into the attack Ismail and a bowler that's impressed in the series Johan your thoughts of her she's really impressed in especially in the 50 overs she's bowled with control she's bowled with a little bit of pace she's not scared to use a short delivery she changes it up I think she's always the thing for me from her is you always get a hundred percent she, in this format, she goes under six. She only goes at 5.8, which is fantastic. Even the, the average, really good numbers. So quality, quality bowler. Really important part of the South African bowl, bowling lineup. Good start from Ishmael. The one thing I've really liked about her is she's got that surprise bumper. And she keeps the batsman thinking. We saw in Poch, especially in the last, in the last ODI, how the batsmen were comfortable on the front foot. She was able to just push them back a little bit more compared to the other bowlers. Yeah, she, she was surprising. She surprised the batsman, but she also got that extra bounce. And she showed that the Indian batsman not too comfortable on the back foot. I think a total different wicket. But she's got the skills. She has got the skills. She can change it up. I think we'll see too many of those bumpers yeah, down in, in East London. Obviously, different conditions. But also, what impressed me was the control and the consistency. Yeah, it looks like a look at it's a little bit slower than we saw with that last delivery. And it's like I can feel the well here and really squeeze. India could struggle to hit boundaries. Big shot! Big shot! But it's uh, over the top. Well, you can see the ball's not quite coming onto the bat. Yeah, this is exactly what you said. There's not a lot of pace. They're looking to go over the top. She's looking to go over cover. No pace, only manages a thick outside edge. No pace to work with. Doesn't even fly halfway to third man. She shows again. Not a lot of pace, but. 100% with you. You can squeeze them in the field, get past this first six overs, but not too much damage as a bowling side, and squeeze them in the middle. Good work, good work. It's a good over so far from Ishmael. And, uh, that middle period could be very crucial. We've seen South Africa, maybe the only criticism we've really, really had has been perhaps at times they haven't seized the moment and when they need to, to really kill off the t opposition they haven't taken that initiative and if they can do it here they'll be in a good place just once just once steady start here from india Looking at this pitch, is it one where a batting team can really change gears easily? We saw South Africa struggled with that, but they also 
kept on losing wickets, so that might have an influence on it. Shot, shot down the ground. It's a beautiful shot. And Mandana with the first boundary for the Indian batting lineup. And that brings the end to the second over. 12 without loss. Ishmael straying in length, going a little bit full. Really lovely shot going straight through the line. She has been in form. Panhana, she shows that she's in great form. Always the best place to hit. Straight over the bowler. So coming back to your point, changing gears, I think if you've got wickets in hand, if bat batsman is in, getting the pace of the wickets, because we've seen it's quite slow, India might be a little bit more used to it. Then maybe, but if you keep losing wickets, that makes it difficult. Makes it particularly difficult, especially for the players coming in who haven't had that time to adjust if the batsmen that are in that deep and don't score quickly enough. Always difficult for new batters coming in all the time to adjust quick enough to up the run rate. wide delivery but it looks like it's just inside umpire didn't give it there close call <laughs> it's interesting we saw one of these he, he walks away it looks like he gets he wants to raise his arms and then he decided no he said the batsman walked across a little bit and therefore no wide shots good shots can it beat the fielder on the boundary no, it doesn't. Good work. Good work in the in the deep, and uh, they managed to get through for three runs. Raj working this one to the leg side, but we saw some really good fielding. Every run counts in this format. And in any format, actually, big dive. Just checking at the rope, and uh, saves the team an extra run. Can make the difference at the end. Every round counts. Every round counts. Good work from Dozake. And the cup continues. Another good shot. Oh, through the legs of Kaka. They're going to be looking for two. But uh, the old adage, they say that uh, don't run to a misfield. Marizan Cup didn't look too happy there. <laughs> Certainly not happy. We feel there could have been a chance. He picked it up cleanly. Struck really nicely to mid on. Call for yes. Putting pressure on the fielder. Not getting a clean pick up. Bold money's on cup. Good area is that. She'll be much happier with her rhythm in the second over. Just that one blemish at that three. Bit of away movement. We don't expect too much in this format. That's more what we know of Marzan Cup coming used to to see the outside off channel with a slight hint of away movement. Well bold. Well bold. It's a stunning delivery to bring it into the third over. 16 without loss. We just spoke about it. Ken in that channel. Slight hint, we don't often see a lot of movement, but that's enough to get the batsman beaten. Well, hasn't been the free-flowing start we've got used to from India. And the two informed players out in the middle, but it hasn't quite clicked. They haven't been able to get onto the front foot as they have in the previous games. And, uh, well, they've moved from the inner parts of South Africa to the coast. That could be a factor. Always a factor when you play up in the high felt good wickets the ball travels a long way come down to the coast you get a lot of slow wickets but again I think India should be used to it maybe it'll just take them a little time to adjust but I feel they should be comfortable on these types of wickets not a lot of bounce and not a lot of pace Ishmael shot over the top and uh, looking to beat the fielder and some more good work from the South African women's team but the third umpire might have to have a close look at that. Oh. 
forgot that it did have to. Oh, some really good work, but uh, could be quite close. This is what South Africa needs. They need fighting in the field. It's a really good shot over the top. I thought it's fall the way, but fantastic fielding. Nearly a chance. That ball. Shot over the top. Throws her hands at it and it beats South African fielders. Three players in pursuit, but no one can stop it. It's a well deserved boundary for the Indian team. Mahana, she is getting the pace of the wicket. It looks like she's putting her foot down. It's in the first six. They're looking to up the run rate. She gets a bit of width, get a bit, bit of width, throws her arms into it. Quite time it, but quite enough to reach the boundary. Chance over the top. Has she timed it well enough? Kaka in pursuit. Just kept to two. Well, Mandana now taking it up a gear here. I think uh, it's what you thought, you know, when they're getting used to the wicket, used to the pace. She is taking her chances and playing some good shots. The thing for me is she's playing straight when it's short. She pulls it, but she's looking in good areas. Oh! Beats Lee, and it goes for four. Ishmael not happy, really not happy, but it's four runs to the Indian scorecard. Ishmael getting the outside edge, but Lee couldn't get a hand to it. So I think it might have bounced just short of the wicketkeeper. It also runs away from four. She's looking for that edge. Expect the keeper to stop or maybe have a chance at that. And that's the end of the fourth over. It's uh, 29 without loss. A change in the commentary box. Peter Brain as well as Kruger van Beek. South Africa same stage just lost a wicket otherwise exactly the same as on cup she's going to continue in the third over quite a slip in place they're going to scramble for a single those singles need to be stopped yes it was around the same time when south africa started losing some crucial wickets when they were looking to accelerate this time a shot, this time some good piece of fielding by Raj. She picks up a boundary. South African attack under real pressure. We haven't seen enough variation, enough slower balls. They've persisted with the same tactics. Short and wide. Straight to third man. Now I must agree with you, Kruger, is that predictable? I would li like to see some sort of a slow bowler, maybe, you know, in situations like this, to bowl at least one over in the power play. Just take the pace off the ball. 
Yes, Pierre, it's a very, very valid point. We've seen how effective the slow bowlers of the Indian side have been. South Africa almost just sticking to a formula here instead of just adjusting to conditions a bit earlier. Short, slow delivery, but just helped along. Easy pickings for the Indian batsman. And uh, this is also becoming a big over. This one short and straight, and with that feel, it's very, very difficult to earn line. The Indian batters, they've been quick to pounce on anything slightly full or short. Stopped. Too short and pulled. Trying to go for the Yorker. Good fielding. To the right. Looks like she might have picked up a in slight injury in the process. Very, very good. Fully committed to uh, defending this. Slightly low total, and it's what you're going to need. Better delivery. Well played. End of the fifth over. India 40 without loss. Already a very good partnership here between the Indian batsmen, between Raj and Mandana. Mandana, the aggressor here. Raj probably just giving her strike. She knows that she's got good flow, good energy at the crease. The Raj on Tuesday played that anchor role, just controlled the innings. Everyone batted alongside her. But uh, Mandana, she looks a serious player. Good striker of the ball, effortless. And, uh, Rosaline Daniels, she's in the bowling attack. This is the change of pace we were referring to because she bowls wicker to wicker, rolls her fingers at times to vary the pace. So a good option for South Africa right now. Still a slip in place. Start. We saw as early as the second over in the during this African batting innings that the Indian keep, skipper decided to get catches in front of the wicket. The keeper started standing up nice and early. It just feels South Africa have been a little bit reactive in how they've adjusted to conditions. I'm also not sure on this type of wicket. I know it's a new ball if it's going to carry to slip. Daniels, she hasn't got a lot of pace. That's going to be a wide ball. And uh, maybe what you're saying is, especially a bowler like Daniels, to have someone just in the cover region or mid-wicket region catching. They're going to have to pick up wickets. Still believe the best chance is in front of the wicket. Maybe a, a catching short mid-wicket and even cover. If they just allow the Indian batsman to play here, uh, it'll probably be a slow death. Well played. So good fielding, Mignon de Prea. Just nice. explaining to her teammates, a bit of spin. So you can see all the fielders in the cover area just sitting on the ring. No one getting a little bit closer, giving themselves the chance of a dismissal. Good one. Chloe Tryon once again, very dynamic in the field. This time, batters through easily for a single. So important that. Daniel is here with bowling over the wicket on a surface that is slightly slower. Don't give too much width. And she decides to push deep cover boundary back. Bring third man up. So it'll be interesting what line she bowls on this occasion with deep square leg. It's almost a, a bob each way currently. Yeah, still staying over the wicket. Third man now up in the ring. She's going straight. And if there's no swing, this could be a dangerous field. 
with third man up because that can just create an angle over the wicket across the right hand batsman so that last delivery is possibly the line she wants to bowl it's also going to take the lbw out the equation oh good fielding straight to that short third man slightly lucky to get away with that mentioned just once again slightly too wide You're bowling with this field very very good fielding the South African fielders they are totally committed to defending there with every dot ball they can get here that rate goes up with the rate going up get us a few wickets here nice. our last ball of the power play coming up it's full Yorker, well bowled. Also, good over by Daniels. Only the three runs conceded in of the power play. India in a very, very demanding position. 43 without loss. An action packed power play. We saw a lot of nice boundaries, some quality shots. That one just eluding the field at square leg during a period where the Indians would be very happy with the progress they've made in chasing this total. Yeah, it's, uh, there was an outside edge and Lee could have done better, I suppose. But uh, Madonna, such a clean striker of the ball. India again, second game in this T20 series, they in control, South Africa they were 39 for one, and he lost the one wicket, but losing only one wicket you would have thought that that score would have been a little bit higher in the power play, it's a new bowler, Kaka, in the bowling attack, She struggled a little bit on Tuesday. Her first over, she was put under big pressure. She couldn't bowl to her field. The captain was very frustrated. And again, yeah, you can see offside field. No one, no protection on the offside, on the boundary. It's always easier to start with a slightly more defensive field and work your way in. The short and wide and just glided to third man. Raj, I thought she's going to slash at that at least. I'd love to see the captain, Danae van Niekerk, just give her a little bit more protection on that deep offside. Just let her find her areas. She's also someone who uses a lot of variation. And once you do that, your, your margin for error on a good wicket is very small. So just give her a couple more defensive options from a field placing point of view. Yeah, no square leg on the boundary here. And, and I think... This is where they're getting it wrong. Now a square leg will go next to the umpire. I would really want to see Kaka. The length she bowls is to have a square leg on the boundary. Captain now going across again. No sweeper on the offside. She's still coming over the wicket. There's no real swing. In my opinion, Kruger, it's a dangerous field placing this. She's got to get it spot on. This one nudged out to deep mid-wicket. Absolutely pure. I almost get the feeling that Danae van Niekerk, she's ringing the changes from a fielding place point of view. She, I'd love to see her go to Abiyong and Kaka and, and just discuss what line are we bowling here? What fields would you like? What do you think you've got the best chance of doing a good job for us here? Just a little bit more communication. You also have to think on your feet. You know, the plans you make in the change room, sometimes in one over and one ball, it's got to change. That's a better delivery. But it's over the inner ring on the offside. They're going to go for two. A good length delivery. Raj not getting all of it, just almost opening the flat face of the blade a little bit too much. But she picks up another valuable two just to grow that score gradually. about Yorker squeeze past point they're looking for two they call 
coming quickly. And uh, that should be safe. Good throw, but also good running. Excellent running. Apart from them picking up boundaries, they're also rotating nicely. And once you start picking up those twos, Close. the runs will keep bleeding. Well executed, Yorker by Kaka. But look at her running that first one hard. A quick turn and she pushes. They are made it comfortably at the end. It was a good throw, but not strong enough. Yep, comfortably made. Again, Yorker. What bold. A real strength of hers, executing that straight Yorker. No, Tuesday she went too short and she was punished square of the wicket and also both sides of the wicket. This time, I think she's done her homework. If anything, go full and straight. Again full. Straight to mid-wicket. Good bowling. India, 49 at the completion of the seventh over. Seven overs. South Africa 48 for two, India 49 with a loss. So quite tight. Only the two wickets that have lost, and they kept on losing wickets, which kept them back. That momentum. On the other side, India, they haven't lost any wickets yet. They're going to hold on tight to this partnership. Raj, it's clear what her role is. That strike rate not very high at the moment, but her job is just to bat through. And there it is, 16 of 21. Quick call. Good call. Looks like a plan, Kruger. Full and straight? Yes, it does look like it. One never knows if it's on purpose or if it's planned. And it was during this phase where South Africa started losing a lot of wickets. Once again, they go to that full and straight option. Still like to see a slow bowler come into the attack, but if your seamers can execute their variations and their off-pace deliveries well, it's just as effective. Yeah, I would have thought that Dane Fanika, especially captain, will be in the attack with their leg spinners. Always something happening when a leg spinner or a wrist spinner is in the game, and it would have been a perfect opportunity. Maybe the next over been pace all along that just got it into that gap it's a dangerous dangerous field to bowl to especially with that angle and a Raj all she did was just use the pace she's been buying a time and this time she gets a bit of wits Raj and just to get that strike rate up but she bigger context of this innings She's been patient, she's done well. Yeah, but it shouldn't be that easy, Kruger. You know, it, it's not a bad delivery, however it's wide. And it is wide if you bowl to a field like that. Now third man is back. Mid on up. Now she just slash it at that. It should be easy too. This time, it was too wide again. Absolutely, Pierre. We We've spoken about South Africa being slightly reactive in their field placings and, and decision making. Love to see them settle on a good plan at the start of the over. Okay, just slashed it. The break getting there. Oh no, she dropped it. Big chance. She's got such good hands. Yeah, a chance goes begging here for South Africa. A very much needed one. She's done a great job to create a chance here. Mignon de Pierre backtracking, but didn't get enough hand on it. She did such great work to get there. As you say, backtracking. She got there. She did all the work. But couldn't hold on. Right. 
better delivery. This time also straight to her. high standards she'll be very disappointed yeah we saw them warm up we saw them during the luncheon interval break put a lot of emphasis on their fielding we saw the catching from the Indian side it was brilliant today apart from the one catch they're gonna just have to keep plugging away keep fighting for another chance and that's the end of the eighth over India 58 without loss it's also the end of us. Next up, Fiso and Demiso. Well, that's the state of the game. India slightly ahead. Sounds of fun doors that just started ringing around Buffalo Park. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in East London, and uh, Kaka continues 58 for eight or 58 without loss after eight overs. Dumisa states with the game 85 of 72. Your thoughts? That ball, full and straight, has been the tactic for Kaka. And the game is in an interesting position. Uh, India have found themselves in a very strong position. 58 without loss. All they got to do right now is not to take that many risks. Just keep the momentum going, rotate the strike, and just keep put away the bad ball. They're in a very strong position right now. All the pressure is on South Africa. Oh, India, they don't need to take too many risks here. 84 needed of just to 71 ball, 70 balls means they can knock it around here. Yeah, they've got it to a really good start again. And again, we've seen the value of wickets in hand batting with intensity from the right at the top of the order. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, you know. They've just kept the pressure going. They've taken those calculated risks. They've come off and they found themselves in this strong position. Too easy there. Too easy. Too easy, and it's overthrows. Well, not the best of work. There's no way that should be a single. Yeah, it looks like the batsman has just done himself some harm there. But we'll play nice soft hands straight to the man, though. To, and I think it would have been in by the looks of things from the valiant effort to stop the boundary. Good backing up. We spoke about intensity in the field we spoke about squeezing and about keeping pressure on india we cannot allow them to take easy singles like that and an experienced player like marizan cup needed to do a little bit better there absolutely once you're in the in the ring you are in the inner ring to save a single and the the, the way the the game is poised at the moment they can't afford to take those uh those uh, singles in front of in front of the ring almost been a little bit too easy for India to score. Kaka continues. Big shot over the top. But didn't get quite get all of it. And it's cleaned up by Ishmael on the boundary. Yeah, that's the beauty about having wickets in hand that you can do things like this. You can advance and take that extra extra risk. Advancing on that occasion, just giving yourself slightly some room, just clearing the cover region. No harm done. Easily cut off at the boundary by uh, Ishmael to come back for the second. Just one. Just one. And uh, we saw Mandana coming down the track in that previous ball. Probably eyeing that uh, boundary over mid-off. She's had an absolutely outstanding series, has Mandana. Yeah, she had something to say in Pochestrom as well, where she batted very well throughout the innings. Seems like she's doing exactly the same thing, yeah. Taking ownership, taking the responsibility, and just putting the South Africans under pressure here. Yeah. Field changes. 
sweeper goes out to the boundary. Mid on comes into the ring. Still not quite sure as to where she wants to build Kaka. Eventually, Sune Luz goes down to to deep long off at the boundary. A lot of time taken to set this field here, Fiso. Shot. Looking for two. It's just be one. Oh, Marizan Cup is not one's army that you need to take on. And it's sensible batting. End of the ninth over. And India in a commanding position here on a 64 without loss. A sorry tale for South Africa, but for India, they'll be jubilant. And uh, Raj, as well as Mandana, have been absolutely outstanding. And again, it's the intensity of Mandana 34 of 26 deliveries. She's really taking the game away from South Africa here. And it's just uh, having the advantage of having a good power play, which India has. And they've been able now to just stabilize and take their time chasing down this total. This beautiful surface and a beautiful pitch here at Buffalo Park, finding themselves in a combining position. 79 runs to win of 66 balls at a required rate of 7.2. They just need to keep their calm and hit the ball around. But South Africa, on the other hand, have to take one or two risks Captain Danae van Nikkel brings herself to the attack. Did a very good job in Pochestrom, but she needed help on the other side. They needed to bowl in partnerships. Hopefully they can get that right today. Well, that's a crucial time, yeah. The skipper brings herself on maybe a little bit too late. We saw how effective the Indian spinners were. And perhaps she needed to come on a little bit sooner to really put some pressure on these two batsmen. But Danae van Nikkel to get her first over underway. She's looking to rip it. Starts with a dot ball. And uh, she's going to need as a captain to take one or two risks here, Fiso, to, to pull up one or two players into the inner ring to protect the single, to enforce the Indians to hit over the top, to enforce an error. There it is. Oh. I'll ball that. I'll ball just a touch slow. Like <laughs> Something like that, Doobie. I think you should be called Prophet nice, Dumi, nice. eh? <laughs> a bit of air given by uh, nice. Danae van Nikkel, luring the batsman into the stroke, open, not open, quite getting there. Open. That's why she does so well. Yeah. Tricky open. leg break bowler, very experienced. And has very good control as well. She will need her fielders to come to the party here. Big hit, big hit, and it's gone. Six runs. It's a powerful shot from Mandana. She sends Vinnie Kirk over the long on boundary, and there was no catching that. Those are the perks of having an absolutely brilliant start, is that you can't afford to take risks at ease. And on that occasion, she comes down the track, targeting the cow corner region, getting it slightly straight, but clearing Sunay loose. No, Shabnib Ishnam, who's at uh, long on. Good cricket. Really good cricket. And uh, just takes a single after that. It's probably the perfect way to go about your batting there, Dumi. No, absolutely, that's what we all got taught at school. You hit a boundary, you look for the single, get off strike, you share the pressure. That's what the Indians have done so well, that they take the risk early on in the over, and they can set up the rest of the over. Absolutely brilliant batting. Big hit. Oh, what's happened there? She's missed it. <laughs> My eyes are deceiving me, Dumi. Didn't quite, quite get to the pitch of the ball on that occasion. That's why she does so well. Good length ball. Just losing the shape there as a batsman. Sweep. Good shot. Good shot. But uh, just keeps it down to two. And it's been a bit of an expensive over here for Fanny Kirk. That's 10 off that. 
at the, brings it into the 10th over. South Africa, 74 without loss. Professional sweep on that occasion. That's what the Indians have set themselves up to do. They don't have to take a lot of risks. They've set this game up nicely for themselves for this for this chase. Mandana sits in control on 41 to 28 balls. Well supported by Raj at the top of the order there, 29 of 32. They don't have to do nothing silly here, the Indians. They've got a, a nice long bedding lineup still to come. Without taking much of a risk. Nice relaxed uh, dug out there as well. Yeah, India are doing well here. And they're also doing well at Centurion. South Africa at the moment. Uh, the South African Proteus team. The men's team are 138 for 5 at the moment. Kaya Zondo unbeaten on 47. While well, uh, they have lost some big wickets, have the Proteus. Oh, bold Kaka. Got a trying series by uh, the Proteus men. I think uh, the Indians have come across our seas and uh, they've really put us through our paces, especially in the one day format. I mean, the likes of Virat Kohli has shown their class, strong betting lineup. They, they are spinners coming in, into the four as well. We've seen the value both in the men's and the women's game of having a real gun batsman that can constant, consistently make big scores. and. Mandana has been that player for the Indian women's team. She has really led the way with some really massive performances. Scored 100 in, in Kimberley in the one days. It's been consistent throughout. And again here, we're seeing her quality with India in a real commanding position. Can't buy experience, can you? That's all you need. Somebody to just take responsibility and take a, a game by the scruff of the neck. It's well bold. Oh, misfield. Well, Passman is probably in there. Pretty much sums up South Africa's display so far. They have uh, been a little bit lethargic. They haven't been able to apply that pressure with the smallest total. And uh, that probably tells the tale there. Just not quite been South Africa's day. quite nicely Kaka and uh, the, the guys a little bit earlier on spoke about her tactic of bowling a bit fuller Pierre uh, Debrain spoke about her perhaps bowling a little bit too short in Potterstrom and uh, she's rectified that today and she's hit the block hole quite nicely Duni. Shown better control than uh, she showed us at Poch on Tuesday it's learning which is very good good cricket Oh, it's well fielded. Much better. Much better from De Klerk. It's Mignon Dupria. Apologies. Well fielded, Mignon. Never easy at backward point. Ball comes quickly. She really had to be sharp on that occasion. Came down very quickly. Staying low. It's very good. It's well balled again. In the block hole. Can't can't score off that brings it into the 11th over and that's another tidy over from Kaka she's gone for just 14 in her three overs and it's 76 without loss oh those are the two worms there we can see the gap is uh, being created by India here they've been really good Slightly ahead of play, they do. And another change in the bowling attack. Raisibe. Well, decently at Pochestrom. Just lacked a bit of control at times. Even Dozake. And uh, she's bowled very nicely. I was very impressed by her performance in part of Strum in the last one day international. Bowled with really good control. And uh, 
Well, she has a big task here, but one would feel that the South African the South Africans will have to do really well to keep India at bay. Steady start from Dozake. And uh, she'll be looking to keep Raj on strike for as much as possible because if Mandela gets on strike, she can hit it a long way. To the deep, just a single. Just to be critical here yeah, with the South Africans, last time in Fortress Rome when they bowled, they struggled to bowl consistent areas, they bowled both sides of the wickets. They couldn't give the captain the field to bowl to. Today they really tried to pull that back, but take nothing away from the control chase. Yes. No. Oh, it's gone down. No, it has gone down. It's poor, really poor fielding from an experienced player like Marizan Cup. You expect to go her to gobble those up, and uh, she'll be extremely disappointed with that. Well, it just has not gone South Africa's way. And that sums it up. Shot. She's gone inside out. And it's a beautiful shot. It's gone all the way. Oh, Mandanan given a lifeline. And she uses it to perfection as she moves to 49. Call that rubbing salt into the wound. Getting dropped on 43. Regulation catch should have been taken by an experienced player. Marizan Cup. And on this occasion, she repeats the feet, giving herself room just to open up the offside. And she clears the long off boundary with ease for another maximum. And she goes again. She goes again. Has she got enough? Oh, it's carried over. Wow. Dozake, absolutely livid. And you can understand why. Oh, this is not what South Africa would have wanted. And uh, that's another drop catch. Looks like it's the skipper, Donay Fonico, who's put it down, and it's a 50 for Mandena. It brings an end to the 12th over, and well, it could be curtains. It's been an absolutely outstanding performance. 53 not out of 37 deliveries. She's taken the game away from South Africa completely, and uh, it has been a performance of the highest quality. And uh, at the end of the 12th over, a change in commentary. That's a fear to bear, fear to brain rather. And uh, you're on for the mat. Chloe Tryon. She's in the bowling at attack yeah it can only be described as a messy over the previous over drop catches and a frustrated captain in the knife and kick just helped along too easy for Raj and way too easy for India at the moment. Yeah, they've played it smart, they've played it clever. No place, just dragged it short, just turned it around, flicked it over square leg. India are cruising, and we said the only way South Africa can back, get back into this game is by taking wickets. India has lost none. South Africa had their chances, but they spilt a few. Nicely played into the gap. There's no third man. It's definitely going to be four. And that was again effortless from Raj. Classy batting from India and Raj. Finding the gap. Short third man. Backward point. And runs away. Just stabs it into that gap. Not looking to try, not trying to, to hit it too hard. Excuse me. Uh, India, they are putting their foot down firmly. 
was enough width. Now, after the boundary, the field changes again. Third man going back. The long off into the ring. That's a good line. Straighter. Now every time a boundary goes, you can see that they change the field. Now the third man going back after that boundary, short fine leg. Nicely played into the gap. I think that's been the story of South African captaincy and plans is that every time something happens they uh, change the field then and not being proactive and that's the hundred for India 12.5 overs India. while in control They've gone to that delivery a lot today. You can see it's a clear plan. It's the end of the over. 13 overs gone. So India 100 after 13. The thing is, South Africa has not been able to bowl too many dot balls to, to the Indian batters. It is easier for them. The partnership has grown to 100. They've gotten used to the pace of the wicket. South Africa ringing the changes. Ishmael, she's coming back into the bowling attack to see if she can get a wicket. South Africa has had chances. That's the thing. In lowish totals, you have to take your chances. And we have put down four or five catches so far. New bowler, the strike bowler, Ishmael. Her two overs have gone for 19. She always gives you 100% effort. Her main role now would be to strike. She goes full and straight, Yorker. They've gone from the one extreme to the other, Johan. In the last ODI, they've gone a lot uh, they bowl a lot of bounces this time they've got bowled a lot of the yorkers yeah it's uh, obviously conditions up and i felt we've spoken about it earlier it's a lot more bounce in, in the wickets up there i don't think for me i'm a firm believer in yorkers when it's needed now you need wickets you need to bowl pressure hitting the length hard get the batsman to take chances but you're fielding in in the right positions and most important, hang on to your catches. We have created chances, we just haven't taken them. Just clipped the thigh pad. Heard something there. She got away with that. And it's a, again a field placing. If she comes over the wicket, she's got to get the line right. They just clipped the thigh pad. Mandana, she likes the width. Slow delivery, helped along. It's going to be short of the fielder. The prayer out there. Good fielding. Now Mandana, just not getting enough bet onto this one. She has been timing them superbly. This one maybe a bit high on the bat, but again into the gap. Easy pickings, easy single. That's wide. Is it going to carry to third man? No. Nearly. Always difficult running in. You've got to make that decision early am i gonna go for it it looks like she's going for it and at the end bailed maybe the right decision south africa 89 for four at the same stage and it's a different story for india 
Slow delivery, Yorker. Driven very hard. Down to long off. It's a story for South Africa where they'll look back again. I thought after the first game on Tuesday, there were really good signs for them to build on into today's game. But it hasn't happened for them. With a bat, they've lost wickets at crucial times. This is high up in there. This should be out. And not out. Another drop catch. Their heads are hanging. This time it's the clerk. I don't even think she got a hand to that. Yeah, this is unbelievable for the South African bench. It's created opportunities. They've created many opportunities. They haven't taken one. This one, there is not a lot of wind. Misjudges it to dive at the end. And in India, they coast along. 105 without loss. Must be concerned, coaching staff. I was about to finish my story about Tuesday. They've showed a lot of good signs and uh, take those positives into the second game. And I'm afraid to say they've put themselves under bigger pressure now because look at that. Two batsmen, they've given them chances. They haven't taken their chances and now their backs against the wall after two games and only two to go. It's not a normal East London day where the wind is really howling. And that last catch went straight up. It's about to say, should be taken. The Clark got herself. She said it's mine, but she couldn't get herself in the zone. Uh, it looks like she's mis misjudged it, but it's another thing. South Africa under so much pressure now. They've dropped three or four. And you know you have to take those chances. They haven't taken their chances, so the pressure mounts a lot on these fielders. Oh, it's given out. LBW must be. Looked like she was well outside the line. Nevertheless, Madonna, that's the end of her. That's the first wicket for South Africa. interesting we never looked at the lbw there's a half a shout from daniels it was also a mix-up so we thought looking at the run out it's not a bad decision it looks straight and true it's half an appeal and the umpire has given it out and i think it's the right decision yeah, i i agree with you it is plum but i can't agree with the appeal there's no real urgency in the appeal however that's the end of Matana, 57, what a fantastic knock. And India, 106 for one. Next thing, Kaur, the captain, she took a fantastic catch earlier. 70 matches very experienced and you can see she's a good leader leads from the front with a ball in the field as well as with a bat and uh, nice to see some people coming out here lovely day in East London nice and humid come and enjoy a bit of cricket Straight, going for the Yorker. 
Obviously, South Africa in the previous games has missed a trick. They've let the new batsman get off strike too easily, so maybe another fielder inside. They've got five in the ring. Put pressure on the new batsman. That's what they've got to do. That's the only hope and chance they've got. Yeah, nicely played. Just pushed it into the covers. So it's a story for South Africa about drop catches. On the other side, India, like Ahur, the captain, took an absolute blinder. And if you want to win cricket games, those have got to be the standards. Just walked across, helped it along, nicely played. Easy too. Drive. Eventful over. Five runs. Well bowled. India 110 for one after 15 overs. Raj and Kaur, they together now. Raj, uh, captain of the 50 over matches. Kaur, she's the captain of the 20 over campaign. So lots of experience, people that lead from the front. So they'll be looking to ease home. They only need 33 of 30 deliveries. The way they've been going, it should be a walk in the park. But South Africa needs a couple of wickets. India has been very good though throughout today. Catching has been good, their bowling has been good, and also their batting. What a fantastic opening partnership. And it's Raj again. They're looking for two. Are they going to turn? No. And just quietly, you look up to the scoreboard, and Raj on 49 not out again, and she did exactly the same on Tuesday. Just anchors the role, the innings. A lot of bowlers being used. Seven bowlers. Around the wicket, slow delivery. They're looking for only one this time. sloppy fielding from South Africa throughout the day and if you want to win matches you've got to take these catches the prayer was the first one she did all the work got there but put it down that was the easy one it was a really easy one Marizan Cup she's normally such a fantastic fielder putting that down and the bowler not happy Oh, that was the prayer as I said very experienced and then cup as well very experienced put it down it was a dolly didn't pick it up and that's when the heads started to drop because if you have seen a players drop catches then the rest lose a bit of confidence yeah, and also two of those catches Came off the hands, bombed for six. So that is expensive and sloppy. And India are just cruising along, finding the gaps. And it's Raj's 50 coming up. Only 48 deliveries. And you didn't even notice. Really well played. She kept this innings together. And she will be looking to steer them home.
to steer India home for another victory. Such an organized player. Clear plans. That's going to go wide a point. Good fielding by the prayer, but easy too for India. That's the end of the 16th over. India 116 for one. And that's also the end of our commentary stand. Next up, Kruger and Dumisa. Comparisons, that Indian worm, a very healthy one indeed. Cruising to victory, but we've seen funny things happen in this game before. All of a sudden you get a few dots, you get a couple of run outs. It's all alive again. I think it's safe to say that those funny things might not happen today. Dumi, give me some hope, man. Listen, India have played a flawless game today. Take their heads off. Um, South Africa have always been behind the eight ball. Fielding hasn't been great. And you know the old cliche catches with matches if you can't hold on to those you're gonna struggle as a unit to have a say in the game this one time beautifully once again to long on only a one really looking to accelerate they probably don't want to leave it to the last over i want to take that chance might just present south africa with a couple of opportunities here a flurry wickets and clumps you never know nice bunch of supporters in today Enjoying a cricket on a beautiful sunny East London day. Very good looking shot. Safe to say, it's in one way traffic here. Just needing a further 24 runs of 21 balls. Raj has been dominant. 53 or 50 balls once again. With once again, this one squeezed past point. Marizan Cap, she has a very good arm, nice and accurate. The run's just flowing. Can you put your finger on it, uh, Korea? Where do you think the South Africans went wrong? It's been uh, one of those days where it just didn't quite go their way, even with the bat. A dot. Yes, Dumi, I think there are numerous places where they've been outsmarted. Even looking how quickly India were to adjust and to adapt to their tactics early on. Change of pace. South Africa probably taking too long to adjust from a fielding point of view. A lot of catches going down. So just a smart performance, but the execution of skill has been brilliant today by the Indian side as well. So a lot to work on as they head into that, that next T20 international. with you more brings the end to the 16th India won 20 for one and that's how it has penned out thus far South Africa batting first 142 for seven Sunday lose 33 of 32 to Clark 26 of 28 and thus far India are well on their way home sitting on 120 just losing just one wicket Mandana 57 dominant again uh, 23 of 18 balls should not be a problem for the Indian woman. I'm just going to throw a span in the works here, Dumi. You know, they, they need eight runs and over here. You lose a couple of wickets, you lose Raj, you've got two new batters at the crease. You never know. A couple of dots, one or two wickets. I've, I've seen a lot weirder things happen in this game. Spoken like a typical coach that never gives up. from watching you do me no yeah exactly what you're saying yeah but you hope and wish that that is how you know
know, the South African team is thinking out there. You know, they've got nothing to lose at the moment. You know, just bring all your filters up, you know, be clever where you want to get hit, where, you, where you're hoping that they take a risk. It goes in the air, leave that person out, but build the pressure. Let pressure tell at the end. Full toss, this one out to deep and wicked. One bounce for... Not gonna help if you bowling waist high full tosses. Very disappointing from Kaka, and that skit dispatched. Rightfully so, by Raj, who moves on to 58 of just 52 balls. Man of the match the other day, play of the match the other day in Pochestrom. She's been brilliant once again. Beautiful cover drive this time, but straight to the fielder. Almost feel the crowd willing on this African side here. To pick up a wicket or two here. They haven't stood back. Got to go all the way here. Good fight is what's needed here. South African side. Awareness, awareness from the keeper. Those need to be dot balls. Keep the pressure building. Yes, a slight, slightly bizarre piece of cricket here. She was in home. But I'd love to see the LBW dismissal, or was that off the bat? Kaka once again that telltale Yorker of hers. It's a delivery that she's executed brilliantly today. I tell you the difference with that last week, not last week, last Tuesday that the South Africans had is that they couldn't execute their plans properly. They bowled on both sides of the wickets. She's just found it hard to adjust, just to be disciplined. I think that will come up again in team meetings. This one. It splits the gap perfectly. Beautiful shot by Raj. She has been wonderful to watch today. This is a real purest stroke. A daisy cutter as they call it. It's a fantastic stroke. It's the old cover drive just gives herself a touch, bit of room. And it really just by six. Extra cover in mid of perfectly down the middle to find yet another boundary for the Indians. So another full toss. This time only a single out to Ismail on the boundary, which concludes the 18th over. India 131 for one. It's coming right down to the wire. 12 to win of 12 balls. Oh, beautiful sight that. But that's how uh, it has been for the Indians. Raj sitting on 64 of 56 balls has been dominant. Well supported by Mandana, who departed on 57. But that's what happens when your batting lineup they convert, they go in and get big scores. You build partnership, you just become unstoppable. Are you surprised we haven't seen enough of the wrist spin today? Considering that India ball very well using uh, such a tactic. Maybe it's not South Africa's strong point. Maybe Dane Panikil balled at the wrong time where the pressure was already on them. This one straight. They're going through, scampering through. Oh, and a direct hit. She would have been in real trouble. In fact, she would have been out. Oh, those are the chances you got to take. Those are the chances you just have to take straight to square leg. There's no reason for a run there at all whatsoever but if they're going to take runs like that then south africa might as well pick up and go because you should not be taking runs straight to a player absolutely do me just hasn't been their day with the, in the field a lot of catches going down a couple of runouts missed 
you'd really like to hang on to those. In a low scoring game, that's what causes you to, to swing the game in your favor. Beautiful cover drive once again. They're coming back for the second and home safe. They're really hustling now, the Indians. is getting down to the wire. Bit of urgency needed, putting fielders under pressure. Well driven, see already on the run. Attacking the ball, just a touch low to get that ball released. <laughs> Throw not quite over the point. And a great shot over square leg, fielder after it. She's going to give up the chase in vain. Very happy teammates. They seem quite relaxed actually to me. Oh, they have to be relaxed. They need four runs to win of eight balls. Beautiful stroke picked up over square leg. Nobody home there. And it will run away for four. Hitting the deck hard, Marianne Cup. But nothing's going to stop that stroke, which is executed in that manner. With no deep backward square leg backing up. Another full toss. Straight to Ismail. If you were this African coach, what are the areas you want to work on going into the next game, Dumi? I mean, first things first, in this format of the game, you've got to have the, the patience, you've got to be able to manage the pressure situations to execute. We're bold. Have a bold. And you really have to be hard and harsh on execution of game plans, especially with the ball. Because if you can't bowl to your areas, you can't bowl to your field, the captain will definitely struggle to send the field according to, to the manner in which the team has planned. That worm has just dominated the blue South African worm all innings. They've never looked in any trouble at all stages. Even if you look at the amount of boundaries that's been scored, third, three sixes and 11 fours compared to the 13 fours and one six during the South African innings. They've been dominant all the way along, never been in any trouble. Very calm and relaxed. Sure, she can't wait to get out there. Looking too calm. Yes, she uh, she fancies herself against the South African bowling today. I'll tell you what. There's only one person around the world you'd like them to hold the ball at this situation. Malenga. Get four yokers going. All of a sudden, set off all the panic buttons. Swung hard over the leg side. This one is heading for the boundary and that brings up the Indian victory. Convincing, adjacent, call it what you like, but it's been a brilliant performance by the Indian side. It's been flawless. They bowled well to restrict South Africa to 142. And they came out there and displayed a fantastic chase to win this game by nine wickets as they lead this five match series 2 0. Disappointed, South African side. I'm sure they'll be the first one to take the blame that uh, they didn't quite execute in different departments with the bat or with the ball and especially in the field which is a couple of areas they have to look at to improve to compete against this dominant Indian side coaching staff congratulating each other absolutely to me a lot to work on a lot to think about just to keep this series alive. Oh uh, they played well. The Indian women's side. Raj finishing on 76. Well played knock. That's how it stands. Raj finishing on 76 of 61 balls. Mandana 57 of 42 with a two standout batsmen. And that's all he needed to take the Indians over the line, just losing one wicket of Mandana. But besides that, there was not much stopping this Indian side. Look at that, 106 partnership between Mandana and Raj of a mere 89 deliveries. 
once you have those partnerships, pretty tough to come up on top. This African bowling card, nothing to really stand out. I thought Kaka was impressive. She bowled well, she executed a Yorker well, and Daniels as well. At times, both of them bowled to tough fields, but they stood up and did a good job. And it's been like this today. South Africa batting first, 142 for seven. They were restricted by the Indians. And the India batting very well to win by nine wickets. And in a minute, we're going to go down to FISO with the post-match presentation. Welcome to the post-match presentation for the second one-day international between uh, South Africa and India. And it was another resounding victory for India as they go 2-0 up in this series. I'd like to welcome Simpue Nzunzu, who is the Vice President of a Border Cricket, who is here to hand out our prizes. But first, I'd like to call upon our losing captain, Donny Fanny Cook. Donny, hard luck again today. Where do you feel it went wrong? Oh, uh, well... I didn't think 140 was a bad score, but um, if we feel like that, uh, we can't expect to win many games. Must have been really disappointed. I know South Africans pride themselves in terms of their fielding performance. Perhaps it didn't quite work out today. Yeah, unfortunately it didn't work out. Um, we have to go back to the drawing board, have to catch more balls, I guess. Good luck for the next game. Thank you. Well, Danike Fanika, very disappointed with the overall performance of a team in the field. And uh, one player who will be extremely happy with her team is uh, Haman Preet Kaur, who is the winning captain from India. Big smile on your face. Well done today. I'm sure you're delighted. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, of course, a great, uh, great win. I think when you're chasing 140 run, uh, you need a, a good partnership. Uh, and I think it was a great partnership between Mithali and uh, uh, Smriti. Uh, they both take a calculative risk, which we were expecting from them. I think uh, Mithali Deep played a good inning because uh, we have decided who is setter over there. They have to play full 20 overs. I think uh, she played a, a senior uh, a player role. After that bowling performance, uh, when you guys went off the field, were you quite happy to be chasing a score of that nature? Uh, I think uh, we didn't uh, ball well and feel well today. Uh, still, we need to work on a few areas, like uh, uh, we need to work on fielding. We were giving too many uh, loose delivery in, in between over. I think uh, as a bowling group, we need to work on that. Well done today. Thank you. Well, India, really happy with the way they went about their business. And one player who was really, really outstanding, she led from the front with the bat, and that is Mitali Raj, who is our player of the match for the day. Mitali, come get your award. Mitali, well batted. Always good to set a good foundation at the top of the order. It worked quite well today with you and Mandana today. Well, uh, yeah, it was important that we give a good start. Uh, though the wicket was on a slower side, and uh, wasn't idly for a T20 game, but I think it is important that we step up every time we are challenged. 
and uh, the partnership was very crucial because any new batter coming in on this wicket to chase a total of 143 would have been difficult. Well done today and uh, we wish you all the best for the rest of the series. Thank you. And that is the play of the match, Vitaly Raj, and that concludes things here at the post-match presentation.